Alpine's Hemp Company. Gummies, seltzers, syrups, and more. Treat yourself to the best. I'm Ralph Mangum. This is the WHKY News, and it's time now for Community Focus. WHKY's Ariana Mack had the chance today to speak with FEMA representative Nate Custer and one local resident who was affected by Tropical Storm Helene. Federal Emergency Management Agency, or FEMA, sends two-person teams into disaster-declared counties to reach out to residents who have sustained damages from disasters. These staffers do canvassing in affected communities, going door-to-door -to, -door to speak with residents. I had the chance to join one of these teams, along with Nate Custer, Media Relations for FEMA. This is a form of outreach that FEMA has underway in all of these declared counties to people who live in areas that were damaged, that are part of a disaster declaration. We have to make sure that people understand that in order to get any help from FEMA, they need to register with us. And they may be preoccupied with trying to figure out where, where, where am I going to be next week, where am I going to stay, and all that. And they may not realize that the registration is a, is a key part of it. Nothing happens uh, as far as FEMA helping them until they come forward and say who they are and where they are. So these teams will br bring that to uh, the attention of, of the residents here. And if the people who live here have not registered, they have tablets, the team does, and they can register them electronically, they may have about some of the FEMA programs. They're not really going to be able to give them an opinion on looking at a specific property and say, well, you'll probably get this or you may get that. Yeah. Uh, that's something to be determined later on. Because once you register, you get a call from an inspector. He or she makes an appointment to come out and look at the property and then decide whether there is um, some funding possible for emergency home repairs to try to make the property safe, secure, and functional. I didn't be had any damage, just, just my food. I lost all my food. So what, what, what are some items that you lost? Okay, I lost hamburger, chicken, uh, pork chops, I lost uh, meals on wheels, I lost eggs, I lost milk, butter, cheese, uh, biscuits, they went bad on me, mm -hmm. and uh, sausage, stuff like that. My fridge was full, I lost it all. For updates from the Federal Emergency Management Agency, stay tuned to WHKY. I'm Ariana Mack. Thank you, Ariana, and thanks again to Nate Custer and that other gentleman for their time today. WHKY's Rob Eastwood has details on a road improvement project set to get underway in two local counties, including Catawba. Improvements are coming to a 6.9 mile section of North Carolina 150 in Catawba and Iredell counties. This is thanks to a $249 million contract that was awarded by the North Carolina Department of Transportation. Contractor Blythe Development LLC was awarded the project to widen North Carolina 150 from four to six lanes between Greenwood Road in Terrell to US 21 in Mooresville to improve safety and mobility through the corridor. The project also includes reduced conflict intersections, a type of intersection design used to simplify traffic movements by reducing the number of conflict points between vehicles. The most common type eliminates left turns from side roads to main arteries, featuring raised medians to direct traffic from side roads into turning right. Drivers would proceed less than 1,000 feet to a dedicated U-turn location to head in the opposite direction. The contractor can begin working as early as January of next year with completion scheduled for the spring of 2030. Per the contract, any lane closures on North Carolina 150 will be permitted during overnight hours to minimize travel impacts. You can get more information by going to this story at our website, whky.com. Reporting for WHKY News, I'm Rob Eastwood. Thank you, Rob, and thank you all for joining us here on Community Focus. That wraps up the WHKY News today. On behalf of Rob Eastwood, Ariana Mack, Jason Savage, and our guests, I'm Ralph Mangum. This has been the WHKY News.